I recently stumbled across a YouTube video from Microsoft published one year ago for something called Team Copilot. And then I remembered back, eagerly looking forward to this new Team Copilot capability. But then in the midst of what feels like hundreds of Copilot updates, Team Copilot for me was just lost in the noise. But the thing is, there are now brand new Copilot updates in Teams. So does this video from a year ago now to see more like reality? And is Team Copilot now finally here? Well, today we'll check out five of these brand new updates in Teams, including the all new channel agent, which acts as an AI project manager built straight into your Teams channels, and smaller Copilot updates in Teams, which will also have a big impact. So let's head into Teams and Copilot and now see if Team Copilot becomes a reality or whether it still is just a pipe dream. So here I have a channel inside of my Microsoft team, focusing on the project finance source for Project Green Space. What we can do is in the right hand side of our channel is open up a new option for open agents and bots. And here we have a new option to add in a new channel agent. The channel agent will be given a name based upon the Microsoft Teams channel itself. Let's go ahead and select add. Then once again, click on add and our agent will now be added to the channel. Immediately, you'll go ahead and you'll receive a direct chat message from the agent. will notify you that it's going to start working on status updates. We can see that here and by left clicking, and we can go ahead and open up this Teams chat, seeing the agent has now begun to have a conversation with me. In these settings here, we can go ahead and change the reviewers of the status report that is automatically generated by our agent. Because it may be you or others are managing the project and want to check the status report, action any items, and then share it with your peers later. You can also change the start date, end date, and the frequency how often this automatic status report for the team is also generated. But I'm quite happy with these settings, so I'll go ahead and close down this dialog. We'll come back a little later when our first status report has been generated. In the meantime though, we'll head back into our Microsoft team and we'll see our new channel agent called Financials Agent has already posted and announced itself to the whole Microsoft Teams channel. Yes, not only you will see this message, but your colleagues too. And we can see a few key actions here that the agent can help out with. Let's try a few of these together. By scrolling up, we can see here that there was a chat around a finance meeting. Matthew's going to pick up and arrange a meeting with Nestor. But it would be more handy if this was tracked in Microsoft Planner as a task. Now our new agent can do exactly that. So let's go ahead, select reply in Fred and simply at to find suggested people in the team. And here is our new agent showing much like any other member of our team. Left click and we have a sub menu up here. We can select create a task and I can also let the agent know to create a task to make sure that Matthew can pick it with Nestor regarding the overspend. With that reply added into the conversation, we can see in real time the financials agents now picks up that message and now begins to reason through the prompt, creating a new task that can also be assigned to the team. Where is this task name created? Well, we can see here the task can be opened in Microsoft Planner. By left clicking, a new Microsoft plan is created using the basic version of Planner. Matthew has been allocated a task to pick up with Nestor to discuss the overspend. That now means it's added to Matthew's own task list powered by Planner, but the work of creating a task was all done by our new channel agent. But channel agent can also do a few other capabilities. We'll check one more out by heading back into our team and then starting a new post in our channel. Remembering that our conversations with our agents are visible to others within the team, regardless to if I have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license or not. But let's go ahead and tag in our agent once again. This time, I'm going to ask the agent to schedule a new channel meeting to discuss the finance area and the overspend that we're currently trying to tackle. 
and I'm also going to suggest when the meeting should also take place. With our post now drafted, I'll go ahead and click on the post button. We can see my personal message, but then also the financials agent has been tagged. We could also do that in the reply to the post itself, which would also be pretty helpful. Once again, by expanding the reasoning, we can see it now begins to schedule a new channel meeting. Once it's completed this, we'll have an option to edit where we can actually check the time and date of the meeting and add any of additional details. Or go ahead and select schedule meeting and at which point the financial agent has now scheduled the meeting for the correct time and date next Monday at 3 p.m. and also included the different team members that are part of our Microsoft team. And we can also now check out our new status report that's been generated by our agent. You can see here it's posted into a Teams chat directly with me and any other reviewers. Inside of our status update, it provides a short update based upon the activity within the Microsoft team itself. Now this is also created as a loop component and this is also granted to the owners of the team. If we select the freed up menu and select see who has access, we'll see the Microsoft team owners as the people have access to this status report. But I can also share it with the wider team. By selecting copy components, I can now take this straight into the team and then post it so others can also see that too. And that's exactly what I've done here. Here's our loop component with the status report and hitting on post now shares it inside of our channel. And as simple as that, we now get an automatic project status update that I can share inside of the team. And did you know that intelligent recaps where Teams and Copilot can cover your meeting notes are also supported in one-to-one -one calls? Yes, here is Alex inside of Microsoft Teams, and I'd like to give him a shout to talk around Project Greenspace. So just like any other Teams call, we'll go ahead and we'll open up an audio call and then wait for Alex to connect. So with Alex now connected to the call, I'm gonna go ahead, select the freed up menu, select record and transcribe, and then start transcription. Selecting a language is everyone is speaking in the meeting. Now at this point, the transcripts have started and we'll now begin to write exactly what's going on in the meeting based on different participants in the call. And a little while later, we'll see during the meeting that our transcript is shown on the right hand side. Here's a conversation between me and Alex all shown in the transcript. Now when we're ready, of course, just like any meeting inside of Teams, we can go ahead and then leave the meeting. And just a few minutes later, we can now see directly in Teams chat the ability to click on View Recap. That's because the Teams call was initiated from this Teams chat. And inside of that, we can see an AI summary highlighting all of the different meeting notes and the follow-up tasks taken from our one-to-one -one call. We even have access to the transcript allowing us to download it into document form and also review it too. Once again, just like any meeting, we can also open Copilot on the right hand side and ask questions specific to the meeting to find out a little bit more about what was discussed or any key points. So as we can see, using the meeting recap is not only possible for a shared Teams meeting, but even now available in one-to-one -one calling. Now, if you're watching this and thinking, this is brilliant, but I feel like I'm only scratching the surface, Scott, of what Copilot and Microsoft 365 can actually do, well, you're not alone. And that's exactly why I created the Your 365 Coach Academy. It's our brand new self-paced on-demand platform packed with expertly designed courses to help you get the most from Microsoft 365, including Teams, SharePoint, Loop, Planner, and of course, Microsoft 365 Copilot. Whether you're just starting out or ready to take your skill to the next level, you'll find a course tailored to you inside of our academy. There are hundreds of expert-led tutorials from me and the team, and even more that we're planning to release very soon. So it will become your one-stop learning hub to work smarter, faster, and more confidently. Why not hit the link below to find out more and transform the way that you work with Microsoft 365 and Copilot. And now let's head into Teams and continue to find out what's new in Copilot. And there's another new feature to improve the way that we work with shared files inside of Teams chat. 
Alex here has shared a proposal with me, which is a Microsoft Word document, but I'm also a bit tight on time, and I also want to understand what's in the file to be able to pick out the key points. Now we can achieve that with a new Copilot feature, allowing us from the file thumbnail to select this option to summarize for me. By left clicking, the file is not opened inside the Microsoft Word, and instead the Copilot sidebar appears and Copilot does a live summary of the file itself, allowing me to pick out the key parts of the document or even ask follow-up questions in this sidebar to answer a particular question from one of my colleagues. So when you're now working with files shared with you in Microsoft Teams chats, why not use Copilot and the abilities to summarize and ask questions of those files without even needing to open them up inside a Microsoft Office? And there's now a new way to share information that you've taken from Copilot Chat with your colleagues. As we can see here, I'm going to use Copilot Chat to help me out by summarizing and providing insights on invoice data contained within a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and give this prompt to Copilot so they give me the high level view of all of our invoice data. But importantly, I also want to share this with my colleagues. So once Copilot comes back with the answer, we're going to go ahead and share it right in place. And after just 18 seconds, Copilot comes back an executive summary. It's analyzed 100 invoices, showing the amount paid, unpaid, and the exposure by client. This is useful, but as I mentioned, I want to share it with my colleagues to also understand this and work on the findings. Now, I don't need to copy and paste or even now bring it into a Copilot page. Instead, I can select a new option at the top of our Copilot chat to start a new group chat inside of Teams. Left clicking this option, I can now go ahead and add my colleagues in and include the last two messages that I've also shared with Copilot. But do be aware that if the information is sensitive, well, make sure you're only sharing it with the people that should see that information. But let's now go ahead and add my colleagues, Alex and Nestor, and then open up a new group chat in Teams with this information shared. And within seconds, Copilot's now created a new group chat, included the prompt and the answer, including the information which is now available to Alex and Nestor. But even more powerful is we can begin to use Copilot to refine this information further. Let's go down to type a message, and now we'll simply at and then find Copilot in our suggested contacts. Copilot now exists in our conversation. So I'm going to ask Copilot to drill down further and to expand on Apne Corp and let me know how they're performing on their specific invoices. Yes, I won't have to use Copilot chat to have a follow up. I can do this straight within our Teams group chat. And within a few seconds, Copilot now responds, doing a deeper dive into the Acne group. We can see the amount of invoices specific to that client, the risk indicators, and the recommended actions. And this information is also available to my team members to also review as well. So we can see the power of taking information from a Copilot chat experience, sharing it with our colleagues in group chat, and then working with Copilot to refine the results and give us much better outcomes than just working on our own. And finally, let's also consider how do we stay on top of all of our different meetings that we've had transcribed? What we can also use is the Meet app in Microsoft Teams. If you can't see this on the left-hand side of your team, select the free up menu and search for Meet. When you then can find the app, left-click into it to be taken here. Then select Audio Recaps at the top of your screen. You'll now be able to select from the meetings that you want to take a recap for. I'll go ahead and select this meeting, and I can also change the style into a casual style. Selecting Generate, and Copilot now begins to work this through, and now generates a new audio recap. And with our meeting recap now completed, we can go ahead and click on the play button to also review it. Hi Scott, today is Thursday, November 13th, 2025. There's just one meeting on our list today, and it's all about the Project Greenspace Financial Review. There's an easy way to stay on top of all your meetings with a recap that we can take in across many or just one of your meetings that have been transcribed with the help of Copilot. So what's my take of these features in Copilot and Microsoft Teams? 
Well, I think we're both seeing immediate value in some of these changes, but it's also given us a glimpse of the future with others. The biggest one for me today is seeing the channel agent in action and to think that we can have an AI assistant which exists in our team to make us more efficient and productive and get called into action with just a single mention. That is really cool. However, the channel agent is right now in preview and for good reason. As Microsoft are now releasing a bunch of new changes to allow the channel agent to access the files in the underlying SharePoint site and also have better context for task generation too. Something which in my opinion will make the channel agent more effective than the version we saw today and also make it something that people will want to use and also see the value in. But the bigger question, is Team Copilot now a reality? Well, the video one year ago showed us an early version of Facilitator lightly created through Photoshop, but it's now a built feature. It also shown Copilot collaborating in Teams chat and adding Copilot as a project manager in Teams. And we've seen both of those features today. So yes, Team Copilot has taken a while to arrive from the glossy Photoshops we saw a year ago, but it's now becoming a reality. And in that case, we can give kudos to the teams at Microsoft. Because as we know, it now feels that today, many technology companies seem to forget to develop what they announced a year ago with the constant pressure and need to innovate. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. And if you did, hit that like button to let me know. And if you haven't already, you know the drill, hit the subscribe button to find more great tutorials just like this every single week. And other than that, well, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.